Just like PowerShell, you can also manage the resources using Azure CLI. You can download the Azure CLI module from the following URL. All you need to do is just go to this URL and download this executable. Once it is downloaded, installed, you're ready to run the Azure CLI commands. I've installed the Azure CLI executable on my computer already and I should be able to run the AZ commands on my machine. To find the version of Azure CLI, you need to run az-version here. Hit enter. Then it tells me that the version of Azure CLI is 2.0.47. I can also log in to Azure CLI with az space login command. Hit enter. It will then try to log in with your default credentials. I'll just log in quickly, type my password, and it says you have logged into the Azure. You can close this window or you'll be redirected to Azure CLI documents in 10 seconds. Well, you can either click on it directly or wait for this to redirect. Here you will have a reference of CLI educating us about what CLI is and how you can use the CLI to manage the resources in Azure. At this point, I'll close this, go back to the CLI. It says that we have launched a browser for you to log in. For your old experience with device code, use AZ login hyphen hyphen device code. Just like PowerShell, Azure CLI also tells me that my account subscription is pay as you go is enabled and the subscription that I'm using is as follows. This is my tenant ID. Now we are ready to use commands in Azure CLI to create resources and manage resource group in Azure.